What's up guys, Allison here again, Man Versus Maintenance, and I want to do a quick video for maintenance guys and techs to try to help them avoid some on-call issues on the weekend, and to how to help them get their properties basically A1, uh, no matter how old it is or what time of the season it is, whether it's in the summertime or in the wintertime or whatever. So, got a couple of quick tips, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Number one, the first thing you wanna do when you are at a property, and let's say you're at a property and you have quite a few, quite a, a lot of work orders. You got a lot of move-ins, and sometimes it can be very frustrating coming in on a Monday, and you got about six or seven move-ins, and you know, maybe around the same amount of people that have moved out and then those people who have moved out they're probably going to be scheduled for the next week to move in now what do you want to do on Mondays you want to first off come in and the first thing you want to do after you clock in is that you want to pull up pull an availability report so I don't know if you guys are using one site or some other type of system but you always want to see what activity has happened over the weekend from Friday evening to Monday morning whether someone has moved out or they're planning to move out or someone has moved in or etc what work orders have come in number two what you want to do is that once you figured out all of your move-ins and all of your work orders you want to try to delegate as much as possible so some properties have groundskeepers, uh, punch guys, and then a tech, and then the supervisor. And if you're the supervisor, you know, you can delegate all of that work out evenly. Now, I've worked at properties to where I was the supervisor, I had a tech under me, and then I had a groundskeeper, so it was a three-man property. So what I would do was that when work started to get backed up, I would have to step up as a supervisor to make sure number one everything is delegated properly number two I had to make sure that um, I got in contact with all of my vendors I made sure that you know my guys are going in painting cleaning uh, doing whatever needs to be done to turn the apartment and then I made sure my tech was taking care of all pressing work orders I don't care how long a work order's been sitting inside of the bin. Uh, if it's something like doorknob loose or something like that versus someone has a leaky water heater, that doorknob is gonna have to wait. So what I did was that I prioritized. So I'll probably say the second point is always prioritize. Number three. Now, once you've prioritized everything, um, and once you've done, basically, you basically kick butt Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, Thursday, what you want to try to do is start preparing for your weekend, your weekend move-ins, uh, you know, etc. So you want to tell your tech to make sure, especially like if it's in the summertime, hey, listen, take care of all AC calls. I don't care. Uh, I don't care how many you got. Just basically try to focus on those AC calls and leaks and press on work orders like that. Try to get a handle on those before Friday. And most of the time you get the staff, the leasing staff, they want to try to schedule all their move-ins on Friday because that's when a lot of people want to move in or come and pick up their keys. So you want to try to really take Thursday to try to prepare for Friday and Saturday, especially with your move-ins and all of your press and work orders. So when Friday does come along, you want to make sure that you've taken care of all of your press and work orders. You want to make sure that all of your movements are good to go. And Friday, you basically want to take that day to kind of walk and rewalk and kind of inspect everything with a fine tooth comb 
on Friday for the Saturday move-ins. Some of those, some of those tips, th these three quick tips, man. Sometimes that'll that'll really help you get your property in order. If you have, and I'm just, you know, hypothetically speaking, if you have the correct or the sufficient amount of help. And I don't know if you guys have seen in, in one of my videos where I was talking about um, I was at a property and I really had, I literally had no help. I mean, there was one point I was groundskeeper, supervisor, and tech, and punch guy all at the same time. So, I mean, if you're by yourself, uh, I'll urge you to say, to, to basically speak up and say, hey, listen, I need some help. Um, to try to get those things done but if you have the sufficient amount of help doing those tips that'll help you get your property in order because I've been at properties where even in the summertime I mean you know our work orders we're probably getting maybe 20 or 30 a week but I mean it was probably knocking out five or six a day and it got to the point to where I mean we had no one calling I'm talking about I'm on a property 40 years old and no one calls so I would just say uh, if you use those three tips or if you just take heed to what I said man you you, you should, have a, should have a pretty good property alright man as always this is Alton man versus maintenance have a blessed day and uh, see you guys in the next video Oh,